Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the Bright Data and N8 Challenge, and I'm going to show you some examples of what I am planning on building during this hackathon. Now, this is a hackathon. It's on Dev.2. You can find the link in the description of this video. And N8N is a sponsor of the channel, and they asked me to talk about this, so I will talk about it today. I think this is a pretty cool concept. Basically, N8N, um, Bright Data have just released their own N8N node, and in order to kind of celebrate that and get people to know about that, they're talking about it in this hackathon. So I'm not going to go too much into the details of the like stuff. You can read it for yourselves. But effectively, whoever makes that, there's five prizes, and you can make something using Bright Data on NA10 that fits all of these different um, rules, etc. Right? I'm not going to go through this. You can go through it for yourselves. Um, but I'm going to show you how I kind of code with NA10. Now I'm going to be using Claude code for this. So I'm just going to hop straight into Claude code, and I'm going to show you something that I've been theorizing for a while, but I've never actually created. So I'm going to do mkdir n810 uh, bright data, and then I'm going to do cd n810 bright data. No, I'm not. I'm going to do WSA, uh, wsl d ubuntu to start my WSL. I still use WSL for Claude code. I actually just prefer WSL, to be honest with you. So now we're in here. Let's do Claude. And I'm just going to say, I want to use NAN locally to build things with you. Can you set that up for me? So basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a local version of NA10. So right here, this should be the verified node, as far as I understand it. Uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. Uh, if you're already familiar with NA10, then yeah, basically, Bright Data now has an NA10 node. And the kind of thing that I would use this for is marketing and reaching out to people and, well, finding verified leads and then using, you know, email or whatever to reach out to people. I'm going to be focusing on just finding leads, like really solid leads. If you don't know, I have basically a, a toolkit for Shopify stores, and I'm trying to obviously get people to sign up for this. I'm also trying to document the process. And actually, someone just gave me a really, really good idea, which was like a vibe coding SEO tool, right? The is geared specifically to making landing pages like this. But yeah, that's not what this video is about. So I will definitely talk about that soon, though. So there's a couple of pretty interesting things here. Extract Google My Business Leads by service or location. There's a lot of things here that we can do some pretty damn interesting stuff. And this is something that I've talked about quite a lot on the channel, which is like taking data and reforming it into like a WordPress website or into um, a directory. Or, for example, like an Instagram influencer finder or something like that. Now, these are all things that I actually need for Grove. And there's definitely some pretty interesting pre-made things here. I actually find this one pretty interesting here. Reddit comment sentiment uh, analysis with Bright Data and Gemini AI to Google Sheets. This is actually a pretty interesting starting point. Let me tell you why. I've had an idea in the past to find like certain subreddits, like really, really good informational subreddits and just scraping like individual posts that are ranking on Google and then just recreating the post as like a page on a website using the sentiment from Reddit, basically. So that might be an idea, actually. I might actually just build that. I'm only going to build the, the the data part of it. Probably I'm not going to actually build the, the website. I would say building the website is actually the easy part. Oftentimes getting the data is the difficult part. So let's just open this up, use for free. Copy template to JSON, perfect. So let's just go back to Claude code here. Let's see how this is going. So it looks like it's trying to use Docker. That's fine by me, I don't mind that. So yeah, basically it's gonna make a Docker instance with uh, NAN running. I would recommend doing it like this. It's just gonna be easier and you don't have to worry about the setup. Like I'm not doing anything here. I'm just letting it, I just have everything I need installed, right? So I'm using Docker desktop. All you need to do is download Docker desktop. Um, and then say to Claude code, I'm not going to go into installing Claude code at the end of the day, like you're going to have to do some things, try and get it installed. It installs on Windows now, so it's not actually a big issue uh, installing it on Windows, whatever. Once you've got Docker, um, you just actually, you need to put a setting on that I will just quickly show you. So there's a setting here. Go to um, resources, I think it is. Go to WSL integration and make sure this is turned on, right? If you're using WSL, if you're using Windows, you shouldn't have to do this. Um, it just depends on what you're using. So this should be finishing pretty quickly. What Docker basically is, by the way, if you don't know, is like you probably, you, you might have a Windows, right? Or a Mac or whatever. The, the real thing that coders use is, and the thing that probably 
Claude Code expects you to use is either Windows or Mac. Now, I might be talking out my ass here because I'm not a developer, but someone did explain this to me. Apparently, Mac and Linux are built on the same system, same terminal system, and Windows is just completely different. But what Docker allows you to do is just have the system that Claude Code is ready to code in. You have that environment on Docker on a container on your computer. So it's basically like a Linux instance on your computer. So when it's trying to do things, it's just going to be better at doing them because it's on Linux. So if I open this, this should be NAN. There we go. Beautiful. That's just, uh, I think I already have an account, but pretty sure I've made an account like a million times. Uh, sure, whatever. Can I just skip this? No. Okay. Send me a free license key. Yes. Sure. Okay, so I've got a free key here. Let's put that in, activate. Okay, beautiful. So that should actually be ready to go now. Let's go back here. Now, I will say something right now. I am not an expert on NA10, okay? I just need to tell people that right now. But I do know that there's a way to import. So import from file. So I need a JSON file on my computer. Let's see if I can work this out. Oh, what the, f oh, you just paste. Wow, that's crazy, fair play. That's really, really cool, actually. Okay, so let's have a look at this. What have we got here? Workflow assistance. Reddit sentiment analyzer. Workflow breakdown. So if you sign up with the link, you get $250, by the way, guys. I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning. I'm not really very good at doing this kind of stuff, guys. Like, I do enjoy it because it gets me involved with more things, and I do really want to get involved with the NA10 because I know a lot of people prefer it to, like, actually coding and stuff. But yeah, I'm not, I'm really not very good at this stuff. But um, if you sign up with this dedicated link, you get $250 in credits. You can only use it for this project, right? So just be aware of that. The whole point of it is that you use, you don't resale or any of it, right? So you're just using it for this project. And if you run out of credits, you can also email noah at brightdata.com for more credits. So I think that's pretty cool by Bright Data, just to allow people to have a play around with this kind of stuff and see what it can do. So what I actually want to do here is I have all this JSON. I just kind of want to see the JSON here. So I'm just going to send it and then I'm going to read it. Just I know that's a weird way to do it, but um, okay. So yeah, I think that we can actually just use Claude Code as well to make our own JSON. I'm probably not going to do that in this video, but I will do that pretty soon. I would say. Where is it? It's here. So. Let's have a look. Set Reddit post URL. This is a manual frigger. You start the workflow by clicking a button in the NA10 editor. Set Reddit post URL. Okay, but do I, I guess I need to add my Bright Data API key, right? Oh, and also it's using Gemini. I might, I might change Gemini for something else. Okay, I'll just use Anthropic because I just, I just prefer Anthropic, and also I owe Google like a lot of money. Okay, so it looks like I need to install a community node, which obviously I have no experience with whatsoever. So settings, community nodes. Okay, so yeah, settings, bottom left, community nodes right here. Install a community node. Um, yeah, so I'm just installing this one. I just browsed here and wrote Bright Data. Now, I'm hoping this is the right one. I'm Like I said, I'm not an expert on NA10. Okay, so that should be the right one. I got it from the actual page I was on. So here, yeah, there we go. I, when I double clicked this before, it gave me the actual name and then I, I put it here. So now I need to connect to Bright Data. Now we obviously, we have, uh, we're sponsored by Bright Data. So we have um, some money that they've given us. So I'll probably just use that. Oh, damn, Bright Data has been updated. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. What the hell? Yeah, Bright Data also has this deep lookup, guys. It's pretty interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. This isn't even what they want me to talk about, but this for like it's it's like ai finding like people who are on shopify for example if you want something specific like who's on shopify who does this that and the other and it uses ai like you could build something like this for yourselves pretty easily but like you know bright data has a big storage thing so like a big source of data so okay so i just put my api key here and then I guess the Reddit thread goes here. So my idea was to make like a, I'll probably have to make this a little bit better because I don't want to be manually putting the URL in every time, but I can easily make like an agent to find uh, the URLs for me. So it's not too big of a problem. So let's just find, what was it? It was um, lifetime purchases Reddit or something. What was it? Buy it for life, yeah. So my plan was to look here, look at like sort by, um, how do you sort, sort by, top 
And then you can do all time, I think, yeah. No. I want like a... Something that anyone can buy, right? Yeah, here we go. Something like Timberland Pro Boots. There we go, perfect. It's got a lot of upvotes, a lot of comments. Now, this is just a very basic example, so let's just run this. I believe this is where this goes. I'm not actually sure, but... Okay, maybe that was wrong. Oh, sorry, the Reddit, I, the Reddit thing goes here. Execute. Okay, beautiful. And then this must not be this. Oh, right, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you need to connect this node up here, and then you drag this like that to here. There we go. Okay, so we execute this. This should start to get the comments out. Not sure exactly how that works, but sure. Wait for snapshot. Processing is five minutes. It's quite long. And then I guess we have to keep joining these up. So let's execute this step. Okay, so that didn't work. Now oh, wait, processing is quite a lot. It needs to process. Okay, and then we've got to do OAuth thing, which is, I hate OAuth, but you've got to go on consolegoogle.com or whatever the hell it is. And then you've got to go on APIs and services, and then OAuth consent screen. So I don't even know if I can do this because this is live, but I'm going to hope that I can do this. Uh, local host is already there, right? No, it needs to be like that. And then like that. Pretty sure that's right. And save. And I need to get my details. Okay, there we go. Connection successful. Now I can close that. So I just connected my OAuth here. And we could do something after that, but for now, let's just try and execute this. Let's see if I did this right. Okay, so it's flowing. I don't know if the 30 seconds thing is going to work. I just don't want to wait for five minutes, basically, because I'm lazy. Or impatient, I guess, is better. So like, we could look at this as a starting point, and let's say we wanted to like automate the process of finding the link first of all so like find things that ranking on google and then we could add more comments we can add like uh this could generate content or something okay so i used the original reddit post that was here so i think maybe there's something about this link that's important but yeah basically this is like on the right this is the json output from bright data which is actually super super cool so if we change this now to um, 30 seconds, right? So we can just do the entire process here. So I'll execute this step as well. You just want to keep going right and just executing the step. Uh, so I'll leave everything as is. Link to five comments should work. This is back to Anthropic. But if I go here and just copy this. Um, and then delete and then just do that. Delete and just do that. Okay, so I'm fairly confident that this will now work. So this should just be 30 seconds, yeah. So that executed, and then we'll execute this step. Just doing one step at a time. Okay, yeah, so I just removed this third section here. It's not really needed for what I'm doing. I don't mind scraping too much. I just want it to work kind of thing. So, so this should now actually be working, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we can see the comments here, the sentiment, and the reason. So like we could make anything with this. This is just the starting point, but like we could take all of the information from Reddit and put it in like a ranking tool of like positive and negative. Like who, how many people say something is positive compared to how many people say things are negative. Now this didn't take me very long at all. And what I'm showing you now would have been an incredibly long and arduous process had I not just used NA10, right? I will keep coming out with more and more content on this, guys, by the way, because I'm actually really excited for this um, kind of collaboration. I would also really like to collaborate with NA10 because I love the fact that they allow non-coders to do things like this. So, like, I haven't got it to save to sheets, but, like, you can see here, we, we've got all the runs here. I could easily just put this into anything I wanted. I could display it on a website. I could just do kind of whatever. I've just realized I'm on camera and the it's getting worse and worse the uh oh god is it lagging out i just turned the camera off i don't, I don't know if the camera's been bad for ages i actually completely forgot i was on camera so yeah i'm gonna leave the video there guys this has been really really fun to experiment with i really really hope that people enjoyed this 
honestly, go and build, guys. Enter the hackathon and just build because this stuff is super interesting. Like, we can get really, really interesting stuff. If I just show you one more thing, look. Um, data set. So any of these things are available to us, right? So if we wanted to, I don't know, make an affiliate store, you know, there's so many different things we could do with this list of stuff here. Anyway, I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. And I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.